Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In this episode I would like to quickly show you a really nice template by Expo. If you would like to start a new project, I highly recommend this template. It's using Expo Router V3 and Native Wind V4 for styling purposes. Let me quickly show you how to install it. I'm here in the terminal and let's install this template. So I will start by ban x create expo app dash e with router tailwind. Press enter, give it a name. I will say my awesome app. And now this is going to install everything. I'm using ban, but you can use yarn, you can use mpx, it doesn't actually matter. And now let's go to my awesome app, open the code. Let me open the terminal here and type ban start. Okay, now uh, open the iOS simulator. No, notice that in case you're using a uh, a really up-to-date Expo version and you have an old Expo Go client installed on your simulator, Expo is going to detect that and is going to automatically update that for you, which is really, really nice. It's the developer experience is on point here. This is the project, right? So it's really nice. This is how it is. Uh, we have a header, we have some content, uh, but uh, notice the terminal is uh, complaining. Uh, you should use uh, the user interface style uh, if you'd like to control the uh, color scheme. So if I open the app JSON and go down here, uh, I can add the user interface style and add it automatic. And on top of that, because I am in Expo Router V3 world, I know that I have access to some experimental things and that's the typed routes. So. If I go to experiments, I can enable the uh, typed routes. So hit save, uh, stop the server and run it again with clear just to ensure that everything is up to date. Now press I, open the simulator. Nothing should happen here, but there are no errors. And now we have some uh, typed routes. So. If I go to source app directory uh, inside the index, which is the main route uh, for, for this particular uh, navigation system, you see that we have some class names with Flex, Flex1, basically Stalewind for React Native. And you see nothing is happening when I'm toggling the, uh, the theme here. So now it's dark and now it's light. So nothing is happening except of course for this button that has some styling for for the dark and light team and let's change that so let's make everything work for the dark team as well the the only thing that i need to do to change the background for example here i'll say bg white in case it's the light team but if it's in dark mode i would like to have it black hit save and now voila it's everything is working it can it starts to make sense but you see the welcome and the header doesn't uh, pay attention to this uh, color scheme change so let's uh, make this uh, a reality and go to welcome uh, welcome to project and i'll say text black but if it's dark theme i would like to have it text white Hit save Oop, this is working but in dark mode, I like to make it uh, fancier, so I'll say yellow. Bear in mind the autocomplete, uh, which is uh, really nice intelligence. So you see, another cool thing about uh, this native wind, from my perspective, this is uh, really really nice, and it used to be really hard to make it a reality. In some cases, almost impossible. Is the animation or the transition between colors so now i'm on the dark theme but if i'm going to change it to a light theme note the transition you see there is not like a direct change between dark and light theme or vice versa but there is a nice transition right so the colors are going to be interpolated from light to dark theme and vice versa which is a small thing but this is what users expect from a mobile application in general. Everything should be fluid. All right, so uh, let's also change for the, the other things here. Um, uh, this one, this one, 
or this one and this one. I like to say text black, but if it's dark, text white. Hit save and now everything should appear normally <laughs> for the dark team. Um, and I would like to add another, another uh, cool uh, view here. So I'll say view. I'll have a class name of type 32 with, a, with full padding on X axis of four. And inside it, I would like to have a text and I'll say, welcome to this video. Cool, nice. So this is here. Uh, let's give it a background light mode. I like to have it a background purple, maybe purple 500. Yeah, this is looking good. Uh, justify to the center items to the center. Okay, everything is aligned here. And for the text, text white. Why not make it mono? So font mono. Boom. This is uh, amazing. Uh, font bold. Okay, and the text to XL. So make it larger, right? Now this is not uh, doing anything when changing the dark to light theme. So let's uh, change this to dark. If it's dark, I would like to make it uh, BG yellow. 500. Okay, okay, we're going there. You see the small transition here. Amazing. Amazing. It's it's amazing. Of course, uh, since we are in Explorer environment, you can always, always have another route really easy, right? So I'll create here. I'll copy everything actually uh, from uh, the index uh, and create a new file and say it's second.tsx. Paste everything here. I don't want to have any footer, header, nothing, right? Uh, I would like to have only the content. And now from the first page, which is the index, uh, when you are pressing on this explore button, I would like to navigate to the second page. And because I have enabled the typed routes, everything is going to be typed for us. So backslash second, right? If I had to uh, create another page saying third, go back to the the route here this is going to be automatically typed for us which is amazing amazing so i would like to go to the second page so now if i press explore it's going to go to the second page there, there is no like animation right like the native stack so in order to do that you can go to the layout and instead of the slot you can say here it's a stack and import stack from explore router now if i go whoop, you see everything it's working smoothly and the last thing that i'd like to show you is this entire thing it's actually working on the web as well so if i hit question mark here in the terminal to open the web i need to press w so let's press w and open the browser okay so i have the browser here and as you can see this is working and if i go to the switch and check the dark team everything just works guys and of course i can go to explore uh, i can go back everything just works so i believe it's a really powerful really really powerful system create a template uh, have the expo router v3 which is really powerful you have native wind and tailwind for the styling purposes you have reanimated for animations you have gesture handlers you have everything. So, see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.